12 fences to be jumped and Farbridge is the first to show from Coyote. Farbridge as they come to the first of the 12 fences. Lands in the lead from Coyote, Badsworth Boy, Bob's Line and Left Bank. Farbridge from Coyote at the second. And Badsworth Boy jumped it third. And then left bank and Bob's line and Far Bridge making it a strong pace in this Queen Mother champion chase. Far Bridge from Coyote, Badsworth Boy, the twice champion, then left bank and finally Bob's line. Over the third, Far Bridge and Coyote, Badsworth Boy, left bank and Bob's line. Bob's line got just a little bit close to that one. Racing uphill now. Towards the fourth. Farbridge from Coyote. Badsworth Boy, left bank and Bob's line. Farbridge, Coyote. Badsworth Boy, left bank, Bob's line. Beginning the run downhill. Farbridge from Coyote. Badsworth Boy, left bank. And Bob's line, the back marker of the quintet. Another plain one, the fifth. Farbridge from Coyote, Badsworth Boy, left bank and Bob's line. Now to the water. Over the water, Farbridge, Coyote, Badsworth Boy, left bank and Bob's line. Now the first of the ditches. Only two ditches. This time, Harbridge, Coyote, Badsworth Boy, Bob's Line, and left bank. Another plain fence, the eighth before the last ditch. Farbridge, clear of Coyote, Badsworth Boy, Bob's Line, and left bank. Now they're racing towards the final ditch in the Queen Mother Champion Chase. Four fences only from home, and Bob's Line, the odds on favorite, is the back marker of the quintet as Farbridge jumps it in the lead from Coyote Badsworth Boy a mistake there by left bank Bob's line goes fourth racing towards the top of the hill now Farbridge from Coyote Bob's line improves a little on the inside of Badsworth Boy left bank still in touch though in fifth place they've got three fences left to jump Frank Berry choosing the inside on Bob's line as they run down towards the third last, Far Bridge from Coyote. Bob's line and Badsworth Boy. And Bob's line a fall up. Bob's line has gone. He was cantering at the time. He's gone at the third last. Bob's line a faller and Badsworth Boy eases into the lead. Both horse and jockey are up all right. Badsworth Boy jumps it in the lead from Farbridge and Coyote. And Badsworth Boy now just has to jump one fence to become the first horse in national hunt history to win this two-mile champion chase the queen mother champion chase and the crowd already roaring him home as badsworth boy comes to the last ears pricked being chased forlornly by farbridge badsworth boy jumps it from farbridge in second coyote third and as they race up towards the line badsworth boy strides away to win it in tremendous style badsworth boy makes turf history he wins the queen mother champion chase second is farbridge it's going to be close for third with coyote just holding left bank and the luckless bob line bob's line has already been remounted there he is by frank berry he was cantering at the time he uncharacteristically slipped up at the third last and so the result of the Queen Mother Champion Chase of 1985. First, number one, Badsworth Boy, owned by Mr. Douglas Armitage, trained by Mrs. Monica Dickinson, and written by Robert Earnshaw. Second was number three, Farbridge, owned by the Duke of Athol, trained by Toby Balding, and written by Brown Riley. And third was number five, Coyote, owned by Mr. B.P. Monkhouse, trained by John Jenkins, written by Steve Smith, Smith Eccles, Fourth was number six, left bank. Well, the talking point.
for years and years to come will be what would have been the outcome excepting this uncharacteristic error by Bob's line when it looked as though he was cantering. Here's Richard. Yes, indeed. They were playing cat and mouse and Frank Berry was absolutely taking a pull. And this is a dangerous place, this downhill fence that's caught so many out. Frank's gone for it, though. He's not hooking back as he sees the fence. He's right at the inside where it's bigger than anywhere else. Just lands a little bit too steep. And there you are. That's the penalty at the downhill fence, I'm afraid. But it's ruined the race as a spectacle. But of course, it's left it to make history, racing history with Badsworth Boy going on now just tracking there robert earnshaw's got plenty of daylight between the two leaders but he is now the only one that's actually on the bridle look at poor frank berry sitting there disconsolate but he's quick enough to manage to jump up and grab bob's line who's uh, sir single has come undone in the melee there but anyway they're safe and sound two out this one has leveled out you can see the grounds leveled again badsworth boy just gets in close there but he's clever enough to alter his stride just on takeoff and get comes out of it very nicely. Now, uh, as they come round the last bend, Farbridge is just losing the lead, and there's only one winner. Look at Badsworth Boy as he comes for home. His ears pricked, and his four owners are such good pals. Well, what must they be thinking now? This is the third Queen Mother Champion chase. Uh, Doug Armitage and Ron Howe, Tony Phillips, Stan Anderson. By golly, what a quartet, and what fun they've had with this horse. Look at him pricking his ears now getting in a bit close and that's something he couldn't do when he was young he used to jump long low and flat and it was his undoing on several occasions behind him there uh, Farbridge coming to pick up a very handsome consolation prize of £8,455, 75p for the Duke of Athol. It pays to come and take these good things on, doesn't it? Because jumping, the fences are there to be negotiated. But Badsworth Boy, a very easy winner of his third Queen Mother champion chase, the 11-8 to favourite. Uh, second favourite. So, Badsworth Boy... And Robert Earnshaw returning to the winner's circle after winning this Queen Mother Champion Chase in 1983, 1984, and 1985. Graham Burrows, the lad there, leading in bats with Boy. He's written winners as an amateur for the Dickinsons. Robert Earnshaw associated with both of Bats with Boy's previous successes. What a marvellous horse he's been for his connections. How sad that the race should have been robbed of its anticipated climax by that tip up by Bob's line. What a race we could have anticipated. Once again, the old fellow, he was the veteran of the party, 10-year-old, has done it in the smoothest possible style. Great achievement for the Dickinson family. They have now won it four years running because Rath Gorman won it in 1982. And nice compensation to Monica Dickinson for that very unhappy experience yesterday when Brown's Gazette just dived off at the start of the champion hurdle, losing about 20 lengths in the process. First number one, Badsworth Boy, 11 to 8. Second number three, Farbridge, 66 to 1. And third number five, Kyoto, also 66 to 1. First Badsworth Boy, 11 to 8. Second, Farbridge, 66 to 1. And third, Kyoto, also 66 to 1. Favorite, odds on favorite Bob's line fell. There were five runners, and the jackpot number was 201. 